Let's get more on this from uh, on Argentina's elections from Mariano de Alba. He's an international law and foreign affairs analyst specializing, specializing in Latin American issues. Mariano, thanks so much for joining us. Talk to us a little about what appears to be Mauricio Macri's fall from grace. Uh, this was at its core effectively as he's seeking a re-election, a referendum on him and his policies. Yeah, sure. And and uh, it's almost certain that, that he lost that referendum. Uh, as we were hearing, the key issue here has been the economy. When Macri started his government uh, almost four years ago now, uh, he said uh, to voters, judge me by the state of the economy once I am up to re-election. And the reality right now is that the state of the economy of, of Argentina economy is not very good. Uh, inflation is very high, almost 60 percent. And especially starting uh, since April 2018, uh, the, the economy has experienced a large fall down, causing a, a hike in poverty. So right now, the, the, the big response to this issue is, is uh, going back to, to what Argentina had before. Uh, and this is basically possible because of a great political move by former President Cristina Kirchner, uh, who decided to run as, as, as vice president and, and give the, the, the center seat or the, or, the, or the front seat to a more moderate uh, candidate of Peronism. She's a very popular figure, of course, also very polarizing. Uh, if she was what gave the center left Alberto Fernandez's ticket the boost that it needed, why wasn't she in that top seat? She wasn't because she, she understood, and I think that Peronism as a whole understood that she was very polarizing and also that she did, did, did not have a great track record as a president. Let's remember that when she went out of office uh, four years ago, the economy of Argentina was also in, in, a, in a very poor state. So she understood that the road to, to beat Mauricio Macri was joining both the moderates and uh, sort of like the, also the, 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 the left-leaning part of Peronism. So that was only possible if she took a step back. And I think that the, 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 the validity and the importance of that political move, it's going to show up today. President Macri says his plans haven't failed. They just need more time. His reforms need more time. Uh, we always talk about Argentina and the economy. Is this the consequence of one president's policy, or is this something much more systemic, and can the next president fix it? No, I think this is much more systemic, and I think that it's going to take uh, a lot of, uh, not only a lot of time, but also a lot of creative thinking. I mean, uh, Peronism is, is going to be back in power, but that doesn't mean that they have the tools to, to recover the economy. Let's remember that Kirchner went out of power basically by printing money would, 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 uh, will cause a lot of inflation if done again, and also by hiding economic, uh, very important economic figures. So right, the basis of, of Macri's plan is right in theory. The big challenge is how to do it and how to keep uh, international investors uh, happy with, 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 with investing in the country. And we've been reporting on the vote next door in Uruguay. How is that playing out differently than what we're seeing in Argentina? Well, in, in Uruguay it's different, but it's related. Uh, first of all, uh, Uruguay is very worried about the state of, of the economy in Argentina, which certainly affects Uruguay. Uh, what we're seeing in Uruguay is ba basically two parties uh, are, are, are competing for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the first place, and they're, they're going to need to, to reach out to minority parties in order in order to be able to to govern. These are the Colorado, uh, the Colorado Party, and and the uh, Frente Frente Amplio, which has been in power for almost a decade now. So right now, uh, the the big issue for Uruguay is who wins the first round because that's another difference with Argentina. There's there's not going to be a clear winner tonight. Then how the winner tonight can reach out uh, reach out to those minority parties to secure. Uh, the, the, presidency, the presidency of the country. All right, Mariano Dalba, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you for your insight.